and that kind of thing. And I really don't want any a sink on my island because that's where the dirty dishes accumulate and that kind of thing. So what are your thoughts related to if, it, if you're not able to accomplish your kitchen triangle, it needs to be a little more linear versus having that sink on the island? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, here are my thoughts. You sound like somebody who knows uh, what she's doing and how you want to lay out your kitchen. And so, again, the cooking triangle is not a rule. It's a guideline. It's an idea. It's the kind of thing, you know, in the, in the world of design, in architecture, what we try to do is we try to approach a project and we start with, the best case scenario in, in every facet. And so we lay over all these ideals and sometimes they come across as rules and yeah, I'm probably guilty of saying here the rules too. But uh, so what I mean by that is uh, I don't want you to start with no rules, no, no sense of ideals. I want to give you a direction that we should be trying to achieve. But I would say maybe half of the projects that we end up designing we, we have to compromise something somewhere because it just doesn't work as well as a deviation from that norm. So they are rules, they're guidelines, they're boundaries, they're suggestions, and there are good reasons for them, but uh, you make a valid point. I personally, myself, I don't really love sinks in islands uh, for the exact same reason that you were saying, because sinks are places where the dishes pile up and what I love, actually, I, I prefer uh, to take an island, and if I can, uh, because uh, so many people like to gather in our kitchen and hang out around the island, um, I will, if I have the choice, I'll take a cooktop and get it off the back wall and put it on the island so that while I'm cooking, I can actually be facing everybody and, uh, and be part of the conversation, uh, as opposed to having my back to everybody fiddling with pots and pans and frying and cooking and doing things like that uh, and then with everybody behind me with my back to them. So, uh, and again, that's not a rule either. It's simply understanding how you want your kitchen to flow. So I get it. Uh, do your best. Position the sink as best as you can so that it's as close by as possible. But yeah, don't worry about having to uh, you know, put it in the eye. And you're right. You bring up a really valid point, uh, Terry, which is Islands, uh, for as useful as they are, and everybody loves uh, a great island, and w why wouldn't you? Uh, islands often get in the way of the triangle, uh, they, they, because they're suddenly an obstacle right in the way. So um, sometimes when I've got room to stretch a kitchen out, I won't run the island all the way into the cook area. I will push the island a little closer, especially if it's a sit-around island. I'll push it because it is a table uh, in classical terms, closer to the family room and leave a more than just three or four feet on the uh, cook end of the island so that the island is not quite as much in the way of the, uh, the cooking triangle or, you know, those elements there that, uh, uh, you know, is where all the business happens. So, uh, hopefully that helps, but yeah, uh, I think it's a really good idea. It, when I put a sink in an island, it's usually a small prep sink, and it's just to assist in vegetable prep and cutting and that kind of thing, as opposed to the sink where we do the dishes, unless it's a huge island. I mean, a huge, huge island, and you can afford to have all of the above. But me, I like sinks against the wall, and I like cooktops in a place where I can uh, cook sort of like a cooking class. It's not, it's not about um, showing off what I'm cooking. It's just the idea that I like facing my guests when everybody gathers around the kitchen. All right, Terry, thanks for the call. Really, really good question. You're listening to home with Dean Shark, the house sister. Let's hear the news. Hey, man, I'm going to say hi, Clint, where I'm meeting. A man has been filled in a car crash on the 10th freeway in West Virginia. They crash happened at 1140 last night, and they're full of animals. The 133rd Freeway Road is close to talking about 15 minutes. This year's same dream, belief, achieve. A man who had his French bulldog stolen in the violin of the has been reunited with his eight-year-old dog, Lisa. It happened in West Hollywood Tuesday morning. Lisa was found dead in her bedroom with her dog on her face. The attack has yet to be afraid. So walk with her. That's not again. Taking me out to the following year, returns to Lisa's family. Do you want out of your house? Do you want to get out of your house? Do you want to get out of your house? 
or whatever it is, and maybe you're moving, you're downsizing, the financial issues, maybe you inherited it. Selling a home usually needs hours of painting and cleaning and staging. But what if you could sell your home for a fair price without any of that hassle? The buyer never had to walk through your home. You could sell it without an appraisal, no conditions, no fees. What if you could get paid in cash and get it done fast, like in 10 days or less? This is exactly what directbuyers.com will do. Directbuyers.com is a local standalone business. They've been around since the mid 80s. We talked with the owners, Jenna and Matt. Wonderful people. They care about their clients. You don't want to go to a national call center. These are the people we trust. Do not sell your home until you talk to directbuyers.com. See what they can offer you. They will give you an honest, no obligation offer. They can even get you $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your notes. You're not going to low value. you. Go to directbuyers.com. DirectBuyers.com, 844-242-SELL, that's 844-242-SELL, DirectBuyers.com. We are able to save the drop, LA, with an outdoor water, to three days a week, before 9 a.m. or after 4 p.m., no your are in days, and the conservation rebates and program LADWP often. Visit LADWP.com slash conservation stuff. It's called Big Rig on 5 in L.A. Yeah, right now taking away on the 5 North Island, one double of our Now that we're waiting on that heavy-duty Big Rig tow, so that program will be taking away for a while longer, but I don't see a big dash up behind it, north on the 5. Up ahead, north high 5, this is Del Agua. That'll be through the Pyramid Lake area, coming up to Castaic, so it's making the right for Dillman and the deck. That pass now out of the left lane over to the center divider, I-5 North Now, to mention the parade, we've got the full closure on Colorado Boulevard. That's all going on both sides of Colorado. Set down for five and a half miles of the Sierra Madre and Orange Hill. And right around two this afternoon, that's when they expect to reopen Colorado Boulevard. The rest of the two, the Inland Empire, that is on the 10 West Town. It's led by the, oh, is it was just clear, 10 West Town, Archibald Off Camp, everything is out of range, and that will never cause much of a back up to be getting this anyway. They are flying the sky, helps get to their faster on their comments. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Looking to save money this year? Look at Allstate. You can get the protection you need at the low rate you want. With Allstate, you can lower your rate, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Homeowners who have not refinanced are leaving a ton of money on the table. Make sure you're not one of them. Just take a quick call to American Financing, America's home for home loans. You'll get a free, no obligation mortgage review. No pressure, no upfront or hidden fees. Just a simple conversation around ways you can save up to $1,000 a month. All without starting your term over. That's right, they can do any term 10 years and over. And you may be able to postpone two mortgage payments, creating even greater upfront savings. Imagine what you can do with that money. Then pick up the phone and call American Financing. They're open now, and they're open nights and weekends. So they're always available when you need them. 800-777-8109. That's 800-777-8109. Or visit AmericanFinancing.net. American Financing, in the NLS, one eight two three three four in the NLS, consumer access dot org. Hey, Mario Lopez here. COVID cases and new variants are unfortunately on the rise again. If you're experiencing symptoms, think you've been exposed, or just aren't quite sure about that one gathering you attended recently, get a no cost to patient COVID test at covidclinic.org. And locations all throughout the state, with a rapid result testing also available. So visit covidclinic.org and find a location near you. It is easy, fast, and super safe. covidclinic.org. Happy holidays from all of us here at Carlos Chevrolet. The Orange County original since 1964. I don't know what I mean. There's a shadow sitting inside my head. It's angry, and I don't think I can see it. Experience the clear-cut, sip of the horror podcast. From the team that brought you Lisa Lake and Daughters of DC. Your son has gotten to stay back and look forward to the media anymore. Available to binge now. Journey into your own subconscious and listen to See You in Your Nightmares on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, you missing teeth? There has never been a better solution for inflation all of you missing teeth. You're down to bones, cunning dentists to change the game with their new permanent teeth and advanced procedure. Created in their on-site lab, they pioneered dental prosthetics like nobody else. Now you're going to have new permanent teeth in a day. They're completely like that. They feel natural, they look natural, and you can bite and chew. Just like you used to. No other product comes close. 
Technology exclusive contest at, at, at a competitive price. Other products, lower places, are heavy, clanky, they don't do it. Say goodbye to all the dental drama. Honey Dental. Get $1,000 off your procedure. This offer expires January 31st. For a free exam, x rays and CT scan worth $1,500. They have no money down payment plans. Call 888 888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-888-645-
Uh, gas lines, for instance, for most freestanding ranges now. A freestanding range is is packed out all the way throughout, right? And so when you slide it up against the wall, you can't just have a uh, gas line sticking out anywhere back there. The range that you have selected is going to tell you it has left a little niche, a little hole in the back of the range where the gas line is going to poke through. So it's going to tell you the gas supply needs to be six inches off the floor, three and a half inches in from the left side or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you need to have that info uh, before uh, you even close the walls up so that you can get all the supply lines exactly where they should be. Wall ovens, electric wall ovens, have an outlet. That outlet has to be positioned in just a particular place in relationship to that model of oven. You get the point. Anyway, um, all right, so we've talked about everything this morning except cooktops, which I want to just hit very briefly. Uh, and I kind of touched on this, uh, I think, with uh, Terry when we were just talking, our last caller. And the biggest design question when it comes to the cooktop, in my opinion, is where are you looking while you are cooking? I did not mean to rhyme that, but it sounds good. Let me say that again. Where are you looking while you're cooking? Okay? Uh, and there is no right answer to this, except the answer that is right for you. I have clients who have uh, decided, listen, uh, we're not concerned about engaging with, uh, with the room full of friends uh, when I'm standing at the cooktop. In fact, I don't want anybody bugging me, so I'm going to turn my back to them, and the cooktop is on the back wall, uh, and uh, that's fine. I've got others. Uh, I'm among them in my kitchen. Uh, it just not only did it work out best in my kitchen, but uh, while I'm cooking and everybody's hanging out around, uh, I like to have uh, my face facing everybody. So while I'm uh, stirring the stew or uh, sauteing or whatever it is I'm doing, uh, I like being part of the ongoing conversation, the people at the other end of the island and at the dining room table beyond. So uh, my cooktop is in the end of the island so that I can stand there and face the rest of the crowd. There is no right answer except what is the right for you. Again, uh, we've talked about this before. Cooktops, gas, electric, meaning halogen, and electric in terms of induction. Uh, if you go on our YouTube uh, page, Dean Sharp, The House Whisperer, you're going to see it's that's a couple of years old now, maybe three years old, but still very viable. You'll see me explaining induction cooktops. I'm a fan. Uh, because they're space saving and they're energy saving and um, uh, we've actually taken our induction cooktop and recessed it flush in the stone of our island so when it's not on it's just more uninterrupted counter space induction cooking is uh, fast and gentle so uh, I'm a fan but again no right answer except what works best for you uh, and uh, that kind of sets us up. These are the guidelines that you need to be thinking about when you're choosing appliances for your kitchen. Thanks again for spending the morning with me. It has been a privilege as always. Handle on the Law is up next. I'll be back tomorrow from 9 to 11. Whatever the plan is for this beautiful day, get out there and build yourself a beautiful life. <laughs> We can help. K-S-I-K-O-S-T-H-D-2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. More flag scratch. I'm Jane Yamamoto, live from the KSI 24-hour newsroom. Airlines are still impacted with thousands of flight cancellations and delays worldwide. Airlines blame the ongoing problems on the winter weather and Omicron driven staff shortages. Flightaway.com reports 802 total cancellations within and or out of the United States. More than 1,600 flights canceled tomorrow. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, expects 2 million more people to pass the airport screen by the end of Monday. The start of a new year saying goodbye to the world prayer blazing actress Betty White. She died peacefully at her Brentwood home early yesterday morning. Sorry, sir. Sorry, bye. She was born to celebrate her 100th birthday later this month.
People have gone to Betty White's store on the highway of the Alpha Fan to remember the late actress. Four twenty-four. Four twenty-four. Four twenty-four. Four twenty-four. Four twenty-four. Four twenty-four. Anybody can live to be a hundred and still be working and have that kind of zest for life. What can you say? Like Sean, I decorated the flowers and so will chances she will be forced to face but it was not a man. So, Chip Francis has entered in the new year by praising the show's one brand for promoting peace in the world. The Roman Catholic Church has been their first as a day dedicated to world peace. A deadly start to the new year in Lancaster where men and women both in their 20s were shot and killed. The bodies were found in the 1100 blocks of West Avenue Jerry and are noted as suspect information has been released. A shooting at a supermarket in South Los Angeles has sent four people to the hospital. Two of them with critical injuries, two others in serious conditions. Police say two men stood outside superior brokers in South Avenue Jerry Bar and tried to get to the store around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They took off on the Governor Gavin Newsom has declared a state of emergency in Turkey, California, the country, and Southern Los Angeles and Orange County in response to the rainstorms that caused mudslides and flooding. The emergency proclamation will support response and recovery efforts and expand.